I didn't want anything to do with God. The thing that I struggled most with was homosexuality. It was that I felt that I wasn't loved and that I wasn't deserving of love. Bitterness, um, loneliness, and I struggled with a porn addiction. I literally went to everything else besides God himself on purpose. Um, not receiving love and not getting that love, whether it was from your parents or your siblings, really had a part to play as in why I thought I was deemed unworthy of anyone's time or affection or love. And that was one of the things that drove me into, I would have breakdowns throughout the year. Um, and I just felt very disconnected from myself and others. When I got to know the truth about His grace and that it wasn't something that I could earn or work towards um, because I, I always tried to work at it and I always had this message that whatever I did wasn't enough. It, I would say from the moment that um, I found um, a church, when I went there, I met all these people who were very just filled with joy and very like, filled with happiness. And I was like, I'm not understanding this. So God really redeemed that part of my life of like not having that love that I've always wanted from the community, the body of Christ. Like that's how I've, you know, he's really redeemed that. And then through the people that love God and show, showed God to me, I really got to know who God is and know who his son is and he's really bestowed that love upon me. Um, one of my biggest refuges was weed, and I used that for everything. Eventually, I would just get panic attack after panic attack. One time, I had one of the worst episodes of that, and I had no other choice but to call Jesus, and he came immediately. Being able to connect with the people here um, easily, and um, there was some fellowship, it just really, was a, I was able to let go of that bitterness and was able to take those leaps of faith that held me back from connecting with other people and with God especially. When I just truly believed that what Jesus did for me on the cross was enough, um, it, it ended up producing in me compassion for myself and, and grace and that's what I believe really redeemed me. It changed everything for me because then I realized it was no longer about what I could do, but what was already done. By believing that what Jesus did for me was enough, I could live from that place of being enough. A Martinian, a Roman soldier, someone who arrested and persecuted Christians, learned that no matter his past, he too had a second chance. So join us April 1st through 3rd at Calvary Church and see how anything that may feel broken or too far gone always has a second chance with Christ. Admission is free to the public, but seating is limited. So visit us at calvarydover.org to make your reservation.